Good morning. Yeah, we're here with the folks at Center Point Energy. They've set up a, a demonstration for us. They've got two power poles on this truck here and a live power line they've got set up. Look at that when they, they uh, touch uh, a tree branch to this line. You can see that even wood, it wouldn't, make, it wouldn't connect electricity, even wood creates a big flame there. And you can imagine what would happen if an actual human being touched that power line. Joining me now is uh, Greg Dietrich. He's with uh, handles all the safety for Center Point Energy. Greg, talk a little, a little about this thing. What, what is this uh, demonstration we're seeing now? Uh, this is our 7,200 volt parking demonstration, which uh, replicates things that you would see in the field if you got them into the power lines. And for your information, it's the lowest high voltage we have. At this moment, he is cooking a hot dog, which is similar in meat and moisture content to your finger. Wow, that flame is amazing to see. Oh, it is. And that's a little less than three amps out on our big power lines. There's thousands of amps of all current. So this would be the weakest power line you'd have out there. So the smallest power line in the neighborhood could do this to somebody. Yes, it is the weakest, if you want to say, of the high voltage power lines we have. So what do you do if you come across a down power line? If you come across a down power line, number one, stay away from it. Assume that it is electrically energized and report it to our company. And if you're out there and you see a power line laying on a fence or touching something it should not touch, don't touch that something because it could possibly hurt you. Okay, thank you so much. Good advice. Good, good, good news. Good information to have. Appreciate it, sir. And thank you for having this uh, demonstration for us. Now we're live here in Houston, Tim Wetzel, KHOU 11 News.